Okay, if we can take a leap here to the 1960s, and um, the next uh, significant depiction of queer life in photography that has been taken up as sort of canonical would be the work of Diane Arbus. Do, do people know Diane Arbus's work? Anybody here? Has anyone seen Diane Arbus's work? No? Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about her. Um, Diane Arbus made photographs for a very short amount of time. She was a rich girl born to a rich family who was really sort of disgusted by her own social class. And she went out into New York City beginning in the 1950s and took pictures of outsiders, of subcultural participants, like this picture of a transvestite, of uh, people who were cast out by society, hermits, people who lived apart from everybody else, people who had physical deformities, who were giants or um, dwarfs, people uh, very controversially later on in her life, she made pictures of mentally disabled people that were very, very criticized, okay? But at any rate, she also took pictures of so quote unquote normal people, but made them look crazy. So every, almost everyone she takes a picture of ends up looking disturbed or deranged in some way. And I wish I had the image here, but you can look her up online. There's a very famous picture of a little boy holding a toy bomb, a hand grenade, and um, um, he looks crazy. But he's a little boy, so you think he should look innocent, you know. And then there's a picture of a, a guy holding an American flag, and it says "Patriot," and he also looks absolutely insane. So she, she didn't care who the, you could be a patriot, uh, you could be a father, you could be a little kid. Everyone ends up looking sort of a little bit um, disturbed, and that's her unique contribution in a way to photography is to take any kind of image whatsoever and produce out of it the marginal, okay? She literally translates the normative into the anti-normative. This is a very typical image for her. Um, she took a picture of, obviously, a transvestite, but instead of showing you this glorious drag queen dressed up in her finery, she has the transvestite undressed and shown backstage with her clothes all around her. And that's the kind of thing that artists would do is create disorder out of order. Okay, now when it came to shooting images of lesbians, in 1965, Diane August became very interested in feminists and lesbians, and she experimented in relationships with women, and she would hang out in Central Park and in Washington Square and find women who she thought were lesbians and follow them around and ask them for pictures. Now, this picture, given its caption, does not immediately suggest lesbian. Okay? But if you look at her work as a whole, what you discover is that she uses the term friends or friend for the term lesbian. She never says lesbian. So this is a, the most famous image of hers, of lesbians. These are two friends at home. And she followed these two women home and asked to take pictures of them. And she, there's a whole series of these pictures. Only this one has ever been published. Um, and that term friends comes up again when she takes pictures of a feminist meeting. So there was a retrospective of her show in San Francisco, and I was wandering around, and I come to this picture. It says friends in Central Park 1965. It's not a very good image. But I look closely and I realize these are probably women, okay, if you look closely. Now, the size of the larger woman makes it seem like, well, maybe that could be a guy, but the shirt bunches in a particular way, um, there's a little possibility there of hips, um, and so what I think this is is a picture of two butchers in Central Park. She has other images of males in Central Park, and she doesn't use the term friends, and they are much more clearly masculinized as really tough, macho kinds of dudes. So. This picture immediately stopped me, and then I thought, this, the people who curated the show didn't realize that this is a picture of lesbians, which I think really harkens back to those images by Versailles. They look a lot like, except that it's in the daylight, some of those images from the Marvel. 